right, boys and girls, we're back. We're back. Hot fruit is gone. Okay, All right, good. I have for us some Bristow's Christmas pudding flavored fudge. Oh my gosh, there's two things I love about Christmas. Mm. Jesus and fudge. Oh yeah, those, those are, are the two things those. I cannot do without. Absolutely. And so I will be partaking of this fudge. Let's try this. Here we go. This sounds good. Uh. Oh. oh yeah! That's what we've been waiting for. Boy, girls, I wish that they had mentioned taste vision, mm. taste division instead of television, because I want all of you to taste this. Well, I'm sorry we can't do that. You know what we can do though? What we can do? We can answer Samantha's question. Great. Okay? Remember, Samantha wants to know yeah. who created God. Okay. On your mark. I'm ready. Get set. Mm -hmm. Go. So a question like who created God comes from the law of cause and effect, which means every action in the universe causes a reaction. Some good examples would be dominoes or ripples in water. Mm. So if we go by the laws of cause and effect, it means that if God created our universe, then something else must have created God. Totally. The only problem with cause and effect is that it only works in the natural world where God is supernatural. He exists outside the natural world. Picture, if you will, a fully built Lego set in your house. Mm, you know I do love a good Lego set. You are the cause of the Lego set. You have put every little brick in place. The Lego set is the effect. Every part of it has been placed by you. You are in control of the Lego set, but you exist outside of it, which means you are not bound by the Lego set. You can do whatever you want. Well, it's the same with God and the universe. He doesn't need to follow cause and effect because he invented cause and effect. Ah, so he's the original cause and the universe is the lasting effect. Very well put. Colossians 1.17 says it this way. He existed before anything else and he holds all creation together. So, who created God? Nobody and no thing. He has always been here. He has an eternal nature, which means he has no beginning and no end. And that, by definition, is what makes him God. Mm, well, man, I got it. I got to tell you, that was good. I'm still chewing on it. Now, now, was it as good as this fudge? Mm, well, not nearly as good as this fudge, but close. I'm, right? close. I'm still trying, okay. Mm, I gotta tell you, mm -hmm. I've been chewing on it, yeah. and it's giving me an idea. Oh yeah? A big idea. Oh. Whoa! Oh, oh boy, you're good. I would love you it. You know what time is. Mm -hmm. Stand up. Get up on your feet, you guys. Come on, what are you waiting for? Here we go, on the count of three. Let's One, mm -hmm. two, mm -hmm. three. Get, Get to, to know God. God. One bite at a time. I love how it just like, wouldn't it be cool if we just did this and food appeared? That'd like, be that awesome. That would be amazing. That'd be awesome. Anyway, it'd someday. Be, it'd, it'd be great. Someday. 